Okay, uh, welcome back guys. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to just a quick trick on how to intensify the normal map or rather intensify your sculpted details on your model using the layout system in here. So noticing you already have some skin pose information around this already. So you can see there's some skin pose, but some of them are not as intense as the others. So to make this to make some of these details particular detail more intense to increase the intensity of that, what I'm going to do is to let's see let me use one, let me use something interesting. So this is the my inverted pose. So if I turn this off. This is something new. let me just turn off most of them. Skin imperfection, okay. That's for texture X, texture XYZ. Okay, then we have this base pose. So let's work with the base pose for now. So if I should increase this all the way up, like so. I think let me just type in one in there. Okay, let's say I want this to be a bit more intense than the way it is right now on the surface. So, what I can actually do is I've never seen anyone do this before, though. So, let me just show you guys. So, once you have the base or the particular layer selected, like for this, for my example, now I'm using this base pause. So, I like to shift that down. So, once you go to shift it down, so I'm going to hold shift and shoot this down this down again so I want to bring this down to like the last layer bring it down to the last as the last layer so and I'm going to duplicate this so to duplicate this just come and click on duplicate layer here so if you notice now immediately immediately I duplicate that you can see system of getting this more intense because now I'm having double of the same layer multiplied on top of the itself and creating and creating this intensity. So I can also select this first one as, as in here, one base pause. Then I can merge it down. I believe I can merge. Yes, merge down. So I'll just merge this down with the bottom one. So the two of them now are, are directly on the same layer. So then, then I can now reduce the general intensity of it. So in case maybe for example you, you in, case, in case maybe for example you let me take this down a bit more maybe you have already created your skin pores or your sculpted details and you notice that it was not very intense on your model and you already have it all the way to one and it's not as in and, it's, and just it's just kind of blurring out on your surface and not really showing that depth properly. You can always use this method to First of all, duplicate the layer. Then you can duplicate the layer as many times as you want to kind of get that intensity, kind of get the intensity of the detail in there if you want to. Let me show you, let me see if I can show you, show you guys another, another example. Let me just repeat this again. Show you guys another example. Well, I'm sure you get the idea already though, but just for the sake of showing you guys another example. Let's say for the leaves, let me use the leaves for example. This is game post with the leaves. I'll duplicate that again. You can see how intense it is now. Then I can just merge this down, merge down. So, so it really has become one. Then I can reduce the overall intensity for this as much as I want. Let's say I'm doing the same thing also for the skin. For the skin imperfection, if I want to make them a bit more intense, I can always duplicate that. And I get them a bit more intense around the surface. Then merge down. And I can, by myself, reduce the overall intensity of it again. So this is just one way to kind of get, kind of get more intensity on your sculpt.
so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next lesson and if you have not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and like and share also and make sure you hit the notification button to get notified when i drop more content like this so bye for now